The great modern English poet W. H. Auden has described the modern world as the age of anxiety. Hello guys, I am Franklin Joseph. Uh, welcome to my cha YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to talk about the need for faith in this modern world. I am uh, an engineer and a forensic nanotechnologist by my profession. We all know that the modern world is filled with a lot of stress. Uh, storm and stress, so we need to alleviate the stress. So what we have to do with that? So I am talking about that. This great modern poet W. H. Auden has uh, described this uh, world as the age of anxiety. So the world is filled with uh, so many disorderly, so many tensions, frustrations, and all. So nobody, the people have lost the faith, and the greater psychologists who are engaged in the endless enterprise of treating human minds. Advocated that uh, stress is the number one villain and uh, hidden cause for physical and major and, uh, mental and uh, mental illnesses. So stress stress affects uh, the whole person from the cradle to grave. Stress is one of the most pertinent issue in, in the modern society. Nobody is devoid of stress. Stress is the part and parcel of one's life uh, from which nobody can escape. So we have to face those stress, we have to face and we have to make a victory over those stresses. This victory can only be achieved by increasing spiritual faith in God. By, by spiritual faith in the depth of our mind, materialistic cravings can no longer help us in the midst of our frustrations, apprehensions, anxieties and so on. There are so many challenges in the life, so we have to overcome those challenges uh, by with the strong faith in the God. The philosophy of, uh, nowadays the philosophy of materialism is discarded almost all almost all the philosophers and uh, now it has been uh, the many philosophers are supporting on the philosophy of idealism so idealism has keep uprooted in this society now idealism is actually the subjective idealism the the term is subjective idealism in its means it all depends upon the mind the mind is the origin, the mind is itself, it's in the, uh, uprooted in the subjective idealism and it beholds on that immaterialism, the concept of immaterialism because which, this is the non-material so it is also known as empirical idealism so the subjective idealism uh, and uh, this uh, idealism as supported by the, the two, two great philosophers, they are the Plato uh, and other is Plato and other is Berkeley. So Plato uh, in, the, in his uh, mode of thinking about this idealism uh, it is actually there are two worlds. One world is uh, the world of uh, spiritual, the world of spiritual or mind. And the other world is the other one. The world is the world of appearance. So, in the world of uh, spiritual or mind, uh, there is there is this order. This is there is this spiritual. There is this order. There is the eternal, and it will be universal. So that is the the world of ideas. The world of I mean the world of ideas, that the world of ideas that won't be changed, that is unchanging and, and if you see on the world of appearance, it will be changing all time, the constantly it will be changing. Today our younger generation are attracted by alcohols, alcoholism, psychedelic drugs and some other 
Should address and some other sexual perversions and threats of self defeating rights. So, these are never going to be this kind of self distress and annihilating types can only create disorders, so many disorders, and it will create disorders only confusions in life and meaninglessness in life. So, Drugs can never solve our emotional vacuum. Some people, we have seen so many people, when they are getting stressed, they will eat so many times, overeating. So have you ever thought about why the people, some people are just overeating, just eating more and more? The actual uh, reason is uh, when your stress builds up, uh, it will increase the cortisol level, the hormones, the cortisol hormones, the level will increase. And uh, it will uh, lead to the appetite, it will increase the appetite and uh, this will in turn uh, lead to the highly intake of that fatty and sugar foods. This will lead to that already. So these type of, uh, the, these are all just mind avoiding types, the, the people are just avoiding the stress by different means, they are just still uh, taking more and more food, they are thinking their stress will be reduced. This type of, uh, this type of thinkings won't uh, really help you on this. So what can we do to alleviate the stress? So what is the antidote for resolving these type of stresses? So of course uh, there are so many ways, so many activities to alleviate those kinds of stress. That we can see, uh, we can do the meditation. So another we can tell about that we can do uh, so many exercise, different types of exercise. We all can reduce. We can uh, we can contact others. We can the social support is needed for that. So all those kind of activities can alleviate the stress. Okay, of course uh, it's possible. But among all these, the most important thing that stood up in the air is the faith the strong faith in the god you have to the faith is the most important aspect in that only you have to strengthen your personality you can just increase your personality and thereby you can increase that faith to the god so you have to be strong in faith so so many people are now so many youngsters i can i can see that they are just rely on those alcohols and then they are battling the drugs they can they will heal you like that they are telling but it's not actually it won't actually heal you it will just create the problems and it will just deteriorate you it will just problems it will just make you problems in the society also and it will just harm your internal and other valuable organs like your heart liver and all will get deteriorated and Finally, the it will it will distract you in both in spirituality and in both in the body also. It will uh, lead to your disorder. So it will just create disorder in both in mind and your soul. But um, I have just uh, noticed that some people are uh, who are drinking they are telling it will increase their mood it will brighten up their mood and so on but actually it won't uh, brighten up your mood and all uh, it will just uh, you will feel like that when you drink that alcohol you will feel like that you are gaining the spirit you are gaining the energy and all but it's, it never uh, makes you the real energy youngsters uh, i can see them when they are uh, drinking alcohol they will uh, say by credit cheers and all but it won't of it won't that that won't be actually it is satisfying and all only satisfying thing is when you think non-material the non-material is the actual satisfaction and there is this beautiful quote uh, i have been saying it everywhere i have been uh, the it is imprinted in my mind every time so it's by a great philosopher uh, that is Saint Augustine. He's, uh, I will just quote about him that is faith is to believe what you do not see. 
the reward of this faith is to see what you believe in hebrews uh, chapter 11 verses 1 it is written as now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see to build up the realm of spiritual faith in yourselves stay bold with the unflinching reliance to the ultimate reality stay blessed with your faithful life